Okay, and here is the Mythic Banner trailer. So let's see what Martha Lumera can do. And let's see if I was right about Renewal 4. And or if it's just called Refresh. Let's see. A new Mythic hero joins the battle. It's Mommy. I wonder how the emblems are faring. Your heroes were like Lumera Tuan! Light Mythic. How appropriate. Oh, look. She has the attack speed scowl that we've all been waiting for. Hooray. There it is. And there it is. Attack speed scowl 4. Hooray. She also has attack speed ruse 4. That's cute. Uh, dual rally monarch, uh, monarch's stone. It's minus one special trigger. At start of combat, if you use HP is above a quarter, grants for, uh... X to all stats, 25% of foe's attack at start of combat, minus 4 for a minute 5, max of 14. I guess that's a lot of stats. Deals damage equal to 20% of unit speed, that's nuts, that's huge. Excluding AoEs, wow. Uh, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40%. Uh, that's brave mumbo jumbo jargon. And inflict special cooldown charge, minus 1 on foe per attack. Alright. So that's cool. She's got the scowl in her A slot, along with the uh, guard in her weapon. She's got a lot of stats and true damage, based on her speed and DR on first hit. Considering she's like a brand new mythic, that's a fairly unloaded weapon. That's basically just Yuri's weapon plus guard, which I'm not complaining. It's still decent. Twenty percent speed damage is a lot. Like on its own, that's a lot. Alright, and then Dragon Monarch. After unit acts, if Kanto triggers, after Kanto, applies Divine Bane Stone, so that's the same one as Brave Corn, to space within five rows and five columns center on unit uh, for one turn, grants four all stats to allies within five rows and five columns centered on unit, and neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on those allies during combat. Cool, she has Drive Tempo. Uh... Wait, within, wait, that's not, within five rows and five columns, you get four all stats and temp, that's like better than Gatekeeper. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, during, uh, if there is an ally within five rows and four columns centered on unit, she also gets the four all stats and reduces damage from attacks by 30% and neutralizes the effects. Of, wow. Well, there you go. There you go. That's a very good support in a pretty decent combat unit. Wow. An actual useful mythic? Hello? I feel like we haven't gotten a good, like, uh, supportive mythic since, like, Asker. You're trying to make them all, like, combat units, but, like, your mythics need to be support units. Like, Lumera is, like, a nice mix of, like, support and offense. It's pretty sweet. Hey, right, new hero type. The emblem hero. Let's go. Let's see what Marth can do. Of course, Marth would be the first one. Makes sense. We'll probably get Roy as the second one. <laughs> Mr. Lowenthal himself. He's just killing Zelgius just because. They have to show off how nuts he is. Lodestar Rush is going to be fucking crazy. An engaged Lodestar Rush is nuts. It just does like five times damage. Free and clear. And you can choose when. Anyways. Um, Hero King Sword. Let's see what this is first. Not a lot of text for a new weapon, but like I'm sure it's going to be nuts. Uh, Xari Special Trigger. Effective against Dragon Foes. The start of combat if unit's HP is above a quarter. Uh, grants. X stats to unit. X is equal to 20% of unit speed at start of combat plus five. That's a lot of stats. Reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40%, and then the brave mumbo jumbo jargon. Reduces the percentage of foe's non-special reduced damage by X percent, skills by 50%, and unit can make a follow-up attack before foe can counterattack. Yo, that's kind of nuts. Free desperation? And, uh, DR piercing? Yo, this Marth is, like, that Hero King Sword is nuts. Let's go. This is gonna be your Dragon Buster. I guess this is how you kill Bravecorn. <laughs> oh no. 
Uh, Load Star Rush boosts special damage by 40% of unit speed, neutralizes effects that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit during combat, so he just gets Load Star Rush for free every combat because he has free desperation. Let's go. Uh, if unit special is ready or has triggered during this combat, potent follow percent has triggered. And wait, what? Oh. And X is less than or equal to 99, then X is equal to 100? If unit or foe's special is ready or triggered before or during this combat, it reduces damage from foe's next attack by 40%. So they're trying to make him like an Omni-Tank too with this special? But what does this do? Triggers an additional follow-up attack immediately after unit's standard follow-up attack and deals damage equal to X percent of unit's normal attack. If unit cannot make a follow-up attack, this effect triggers when the standard follow-up attack would occur. This effect is treated like a follow-up attack, so effects like reduce damage by X percent still apply, but this effect is not affected by effects that prevent follow-ups or attacks twice effects. That's fucking crazy! What? That's just, that's Marth's just passive ability in Engage. He just comes in and does a free attack for you at half damage, but like still. This is even better than that, what the fuck? Hello? I don't understand how the damage is calculated for the follow-up, but that's like, he's gonna be fast as fuck, right? Now, he does, and he has, he has the new uh, NFU C slot, so he's gonna have NFU. So he's gonna do his one, two with free desperation. Then he's gonna hit you a third time because of Lodestar Rush, the follow-up percent thing, and then Lodestar Rush will activate. Like, this guy is gonna hit so goddamn hard. I don't know how you would enemy face him. Holy shit. Yeah, damn. Then he's got the finish. It's called Potent 4. So is this just the new kind of skill, Potent? And then he also has Infantry No Follow Up, which is really cool. So he gives himself No Follow Up and uh, Teleportation. Potent 4. In inflicts Speed Dev minus 4 on foe during combat and reduces damage from attacks during combat and from Area of Effect specials by 30%. If decreasing the speed difference necessary to make a follow up attack by 25 would allow unit to trigger a follow up attack, Excluding guaranteed or prevent follow-up attacks triggers potent follow X percent during combat If unit cannot perform follow-up and attack twice What? I don't understand what that means. What does that even mean? I don't understand I don't get it Reduces damage by 30% of, of foe's attacks. If decreasing the speed difference necessary to make a follow-up attack by 25 would allow unit to trigger a follow-up attack. Triggers potent follow-up oh, I Oh, okay, I get it. Oh, so it, it's just, if for whatever reason Marth is fighting something that has like 150 speed and like reducing and like putting on like this super phantom speed would allow him to do a double then he gets to do a double i guess that's what that means but it's like i guess 80 percent of his normal follow-up i mean that's still a lot of damage i'm assuming anyways all right so that's cool I, that's whatever i i don't know that that's his best b slot honestly it might just want to put like physical NFU on him and then swap the C skill to like, I don't know. Attack speed oath, I guess. Would be cool. Or like, see, cause it, potent four is cute and all, but I don't know that that's like, it's not amazing, right? Like it's, it's not amazing. But what would you put on? Wrath four maybe? Nah, I don't see him. Because he, he has free desperation, so why would you use Wrath 4? Fuck, man, I don't know. Close call 4? Would that be cute? I don't, I really don't know. <sighs> See, anyways, I, I'd have to think about that after I get him, I guess. Emblem effect. Uh, enhanced engaged special. Accelerate special trigger. Cannot be reduced below 1. 
If unit triggers the unit attacks twice effect, reduces special damage by eight. I see. So if you pair someone up with Marth, they just get minus one special trigger cooldown. I mean, that's cool, I guess. If I pair him up with Yuri, I don't have to fucking slap quick and pulse on him anymore for AoE, so that's nice. He could just have the minus one from his weapon, the minus one from Marth, and then Garrick. And then I can... I don't have to put quick and pulse on him anymore. I can just use, like, attack speed solo or something like that. That's cool. Or, like, you know, for, like, someone like Legend Chez, maybe. She has Tyne's Pulse and this guy, so she has, like, a one cooldown lethality. That's kind of nuts. That's actually nuts. <laughs> He's balanced in that you can only pair him up with one unit, right? But like, so how does it work? If you summon one Marth and you pair him with someone, what if you summon another Marth? You don't merge them. Does the game count them as two separate Marths and you can then have them merged up with someone else? Cause like, we could get in a situation where you have like 10 of your characters with minus one special cooldown. Like, on top of already having a slaying effect. I would hope that's not the case. I would want them to encourage merging and not encouraging stuff like that. Personally. But, anyways, I digress. I guess you could also, like, pair him up with someone like your, like, Summer Edelgard. And then she has... Uh, a three cooldown Gale Force, and the minus eight damage doesn't matter because Gale Force isn't a damaging special, right? So like, there's applications such as that. Not that Summer Edelgard has much trouble activating Gale Force because of the bold fighter seal, but there are a lot of applications for his uh, his parrot mechanic. An emblem strength. Oh, he has a special attack animation. That's badass. Also, the follow-up triggered after his special, so I, I guess I mis... I, I misunderstood how the follow X percent thing works, but... God damn, he is strong. Holy shit, he is strong. Get that young one cooldown Dragonagora. What is it? Boost damage by 30% of units attack. And then it adds. Minus one cooldown. And then minus eight damage if you're a brave hitter. But you're, you're not a brave hitter. Well, I guess that would still count if you use them with, like, Bridal Catria, I suppose. Guided by the emblems. Damn. You could have, like... Damn. <laughs> you have one cooldown Lunas now. That's fucking crazy. That's like actually, like it seems like enough, it seems like not that much, but it's actually crazy. Like it's pretty good. I'm sure there's going to be like even crazier engage effects out there that's like quote unquote better than this minus one special cooldown, but like that's a, that's not a bad start, right? It's not a bad start. I'll be real, I'm going to go ham on this banner just because Hinoka's here. Wait, you could spark twice on this? No way! Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, I'm gonna spark Hinoka and Amar. Fuck it. Look, I like Mommy Lumera as much as the next guy, but like, I think I just wanna snipe red. Or actually, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll spark Lumera and Marth, and I'm just gonna summon until Hinoka's plus 10. And that's what it's going to be. Low key, I want a plus 10 Marth. Low key, I want a plus 10 Fur Marth and Hinoka. But like, see, going past plus 10 and Hinoka is going to suck because her fodder is not even that. Well, she has Wings of Mercy 4. Okay, my idiot whale brain has been activated. All right. <laughs> oh my God. What am I even doing with my life? All right, well... We'll see when this banner comes out. We'll see what, how much free time I have. I only have two days off from work, so I think the banner's out next reset, right? Maybe I'll stream my summons. That'd be fun, right? That'd be cool. 
Anyways, I haven't streamed in a while. I'd have to set it all up and see if it even still works. And Anyways, we'll see what I do. And I'll let you guys know. So, uh, with all that being said, let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. Peace out. We gotta let it get back.